All right, what's up, guys? So, Tyrone Magnus, the tables have turned. I am reacting to him now. He ain't reacting to everybody else. But no, I want to see this video because sometimes I, I do uh, come across this problem. Not at Walgreens, but I have seen it a lot at uh, Walmart. Safeway, you don't usually see when the freezers at Safeway be like frozen. This, though, this is some overboard stuff right here. Like that, nah. I would definitely call somebody and be like, yo, so the uh, freezer is uh, like, bruh, that is honestly like, what do you do with that? You can't even get nothing from that section. It's frozen even on the outside, bruh. Like that is nah. Somebody had to see that either. They did like they did. And then they just was all like, yo, this is beyond like our, you know, like we can't do anything about that. Because that's, yeah, that's crazy. That is some crazy stuff. Like, what do you do? Honestly, I would be scared because I know for I know for a fact I'm going to be sitting there struggling trying to open up the door if it, ice is coming up out of the uh, freezer itself. But knowing if I touch anything in there, I'm going to be looking like Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Like, nah, you can't grab something from there and think that you're going to be room temperature when you leave that building. Like, nah, that's too much. That is way too much, man. Like, I, yeah. They, uh, Walgreens, like, that's all that stuff. I just, I don't even think it's edible anymore at that point. Like, if it's that badly frozen, it's not edible. Like, it's just, it's not edible at all. Like, you going, you're going to die. Like, you're going to come across, like, some cold freezing temperatures and going to die. Like, that's, that's crazy. But, nah, let's, this is a short video. It's only 11 seconds, but I plan on adding something to this video. But anyways. This is crazy, y'all. I've never seen this before. Never. Like Walgreens. <laughs> Look at that. That's, <laughs> that's Ooh, wild. Time for some maintenance. That, nah. All right, see, here's the thing. Um, I feel like at my old job, like, we did kind of have, like, not that badly, but there were at times where it was like, even not, no, like even my old job and the refrigerator that I currently have right now, it like ice will build up at the back of it, but it wouldn't be like surrounding it. Yeah, that's, that's too much, man. That is too much. Like you, you know, like they, whoever works there or whoever, I don't know. They're most likely like, yeah, we're too lazy because maintenance. So to explain to you guys, like when stuff like that, when it goes out, cause at my old job, I remember things used to go out all the time. And I know, like, there would be at times, like, when they call out, I call out a maintenance person, that's, like, either it's going to be, like, between the price range of, like, $500 to thousands of dollars depending on what it is. Because there is times where our ice cream machine had, um, or not ice cream, but our ice machine had uh, messed up. And so it would randomly just spray out ice. And it was the weirdest thing ever. I think, but we, I see, here's the thing. I feel like I shouldn't overall tell y'all how because then the like the managers or the people behind that place i i don't know i could be talking about anything so i'm like i haven't even said the name yet but no there if uh anybody that like part owner of that cafe i used to work at then they're gonna be like oh so you broke it technically it wasn't me all right it was the uh other chef there but i'm not gonna rat him out i'm just i'm just gonna leave it at there it was a chef that was there all right but anyways um we took like a coat hanger because the ice was stuck so we couldn't get it out so we took like a coat hanger and then like just like rammed it in there so like thinking that ice would just pour out and then me i was on top and i was taking a coat hanger so technically no it, it was the both of us now that i like talk about it and stuff but i took the to coat hanger and was just like going crazy at it and so yeah he uh we, we <laughs> it, it just started spraying out ice and yeah it was um there we had to call like out mate well it wasn't like constantly it would just be like at random times so we'll just be sitting there chilling and all of a sudden you just hear like a bunch of ice just start spraying out so but that was like all the machines i remember i went to another location and it was doing that so i think the machines was just old but and that's what most likely the problem is with that freezer it's just old and they need to fix it so yeah, I man, that's crazy. You know, to yeah, that's just crazy. That they need to stop it and just go on and fix that. Otherwise, they just gonna be walking and just see somebody just doing the mannequin challenge and they just but their hand is like connected to it and so they just sit there like this, like moving their eyes, like well, yo, like nobody's not gonna help me. Like that's yeah, that's crazy, man. That's super crazy. But anyway, shout out to Tyrone Magnus. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to him. He, uh, he does reactions too, so if you guys don't know, I'm 
I'm 100%. I don't know. Maybe people might not know who Tyrone Magnus is. Like, if you only, like, watch my reaction videos and don't really watch nobody else. Yeah, Tyrone Magnus, he does uh, pretty good videos. He's one of the reasons why I do reaction videos. So go subscribe to him. Go show him love. Like, subscribe to me, too. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.